Rebecca, and I'm gonna show you three different musical instruments that you can make out of things in your house that all use air to make noise. We're gonna make a paper whistle, a cardboard kazoo, and I'll show you how to make different sounds using a plastic bottle and some water. So now we have our whistle. In order to play it, it's pretty easy. You just make a peace sign with your fingers and you put that middle cut part between them. You're gonna hold the paper against your mouth. So you don't wanna get the paper all wet and soggy. So if your mouth is kind of wet, if you just had some water, maybe just like gently wipe it off a little bit on your shoulder. Um, you're gonna put your mouth against the paper and blow. So you're gonna blow through the paper into this little valley and it should come out the hole and because it's a very tiny hole it's going to make a kind of a whistling noise so let's try it <laughs> you can hear some noise there um, if it's not working too well try moving it up and down so that you're blowing in different parts of your whistle uh, and try making your fingers either tighter or looser um, until you get it so that it makes a sound. So now I am going to blow into this and I'm gonna cover and uncover the hole with my finger. I'm not just blowing though, like, like I'm blowing out a candle. I'm gonna kind of hum a little bit. Mm, mm. Um, you can try singing or making sounds, noises. Uh, so we'll test it out. <laughs> So you can experiment with um, different sounds that you make into this. You could try punching more holes and seeing what happens, um, but it just kind of makes the sounds that you make sound cooler. So I'm gonna take my one liter water bottle here and I'm gonna blow over it. So I'm gonna put it right under my bottom lip and I'm gonna blow across the top. And if I don't get the sound at first, I'm gonna tilt the bottle back and forth until I find the spot where it makes a noise. Blowing across it, but some of the air is going into it, and that's what's making that nice deep sound as it moves into this deep water bottle. Um, and I'm actually gonna put some water into it and see how that changes the sound. So maybe I don't like that deep bassoon sound. Put some more in and see how that sounds. So you can do this with any amount of water. You could have a whole bunch of bottles lined up that all play different notes. You play them at the same time as somebody else and see how those two notes interact together. And you can play almost anything that's this kind of shape that's narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. So this root beer bottle, which is made of glass, makes a little bit different sound. Let's pour some water in here and we'll see how that sounds too. <laughs> 